This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. These shits, I don't. Matter of fact, it take me more time to edit the deeper the REOP videos than it does the regular podcast because I add all kind of shit and I add slides in. Y'all want me to slap him while we on camera? That <laughs> <laughs> might get the numbers up. I be adding all kind of slides in where we can do the, where the, when the samples come in, where they come from. Add all kind of production into these shits. Yeah. So go ahead and watch it, man. It should be no reason why. I look on the YouTube and that shit say five views, man. Yeah, I pull up, man. We'll get y'all IP address. You got, know what I'm saying? Got a hundred hundreds of niggas on the Patreon. Sit y'all niggas down, down and force y'all to watch 27 hours of <laughs> our watch, content. Watch the video, man. It ain't no bullshit. We ain't just sitting there talking. It got some bells and whistles to it. So go ahead and watch the video for us. If you if you can. Yeah, man. And like I say, if y'all, you know what I mean, if y'all got any suggestions on things we should do, I'll fix a peanut butter jelly and sandwich, you know, while we record or something, you know what I mean? Like, people like watching shit like that, bro. Hey, man, we got some freak boy. Listen, what's the nigga say, uh, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich your shirt off? You all know? right, all right, all right. Then then we cutting out all extracurriculars. <laughs> Forrest Gump. <laughs> All, right. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this album, man. Frank Ocean, Channel Orange, man. So I did not know this. Mm -hmm. So you know Frank Ocean dropped the Nostalgia Orange album. Right. I mean, that's uh, Ultra, uh, Nostalgia Ultra. Ultra. Nostalgia Ultra album. Mm -hmm. Did you know before he dropped that, he had got dropped by Def Jam? Mm -mm. I didn't know that, but I did know this. A lot of the artists that... <clears throat> You think are just now popping, typically have a deal two, three years in place beforehand. Yeah, I think we was talking about D'Angelo. Like he had a deal since he was like a teenager, mm -hmm. and he dropped it like when he was like twenty one, twenty, right. shit like that. Um, so Frank Ocean, he actually had like a writer's deal with Def Jam, mm -hmm. and he made uh, Nostalgia Ultra. They dropped him, and then dropped the uh, Nostalgia Ultra, which is kind of odd. They, Drop a release after you drop the artist, pretty much. All right. Hey, I know you ain't got no lighter. Yeah, bro. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, get it, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about this shit. <laughs> I was gonna be sad faced the whole time. <laughs> yeah, bro. Go ahead, and get that lighter, bro. But anyway, so he got dropped by the label. Nostalgia Ultra did so good. They hit this nigga Frank Ocean up and said, "Hey, man, we gotta drop. We gotta keep dropping shit with you. What you want?" Frank Ocean said, I want a million dollars and I want an extra. What you about to say? Oh, never mind. I was about to say, be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> so he said he wanted a, a million dollars bonus and he wanted a million dollars to make the album. I didn't think that was the B word you was going to say. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so they great Def, Def Jam granted Frank his wishes. They gave him a million dollars. And they gave him a million dollar budget. So what Def Jam probably thought was That's another B word. <laughs> we was close. This is about to be this. This is about to be sh shorter than a body hairbanger episode. This is about to be shorter than a body hairbanger. Around this time, you know, Frank Ocean had found himself. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna get into that. That nigga came back to the label with demands. <laughs> So they was thinking like, hey, this nigga Frank Ocean, he was gonna get like, cause at the time he had did Watch the Throne uh -huh. with Kanye West and uh, Jay Z. So they thinking he like, oh, he gonna get Jay Z on the album, he gonna get Kanye on the album, he gonna get Pharrell <laughs> right. on the album, he just gonna right. get a bunch of niggas on the album. But that nigga Frank Ocean, he pocketed most of the money. So what he did was he did a lot of in house producing himself. Uh -huh. He did work with Pharrell. He did work with Andre. Um, Tyler, but Tyler the homie, so he probably that Tyler probably man, yeah. and Tyler probably did the shit for free. Earl was on the album. Uh John Mayer was on the album. That's about it. So he kept a lot of the money. So that won't be the only time he finessed Def Jam. I don't know if we ever <laughs> gonna talk about the Blonde album. Yeah. I don't know. Probably eventually. But yeah, but he finessed them again with that Blonde album. He dropped the uh, what was this shit called? I'm sorry, Frank Ocean stands. I do like Frank Ocean myself, but he's a great I, artist. I don't like him as much as y'all niggas like him. <laughs> that nigga made what was this shit? I think it was called Endless or whatever. What it was called where it was just the nigga just making like a, a treehouse. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll need you listeners to let us know on that one. I think it was called like Endless. I don't know, bro. I'm sorry. They're going to get us up out of here, but I don't know. What, I forgot what it was called, but it was like an album where like the nigga was like on Apple <laughs> Music, like making a treehouse or some shit like that. And it counted as an album that he dropped Blonde the next week and then so on. So, what did you, which one you like better? You like Blonde or uh, Channel Orange? Um, Mm. I think Blonde is fire. I think they're both fire, honestly. Yeah. I thought Channel Orange was a great, you know, great, great, great album. I think Blonde might take the cake, but Pyramids is such a 